Hey everybody, and I'm on Clandora here, and welcome to another episode of Monster Month with Ben 10, Secrets of the Omnitrix. And I love this movie. I love it, 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 I love it. This is my favorite of the three films. Um, both of the other two films have uh, their good merit, they have their good merits, they have good, uh, they have good qualities to them, but... This, this one is my favorite. It's absolutely amazing. It has animation that not only, it has animation that not only rivals uh, the finale of season two, but it surpasses it. The animation for this, for this film is incredible. Vilgax has never been creepier. He has never looked creepier. And now, um, and now there is, uh, his voice is kind of gargly, but also kind of demonic now. Like, it is so, as if Vilgax couldn't sound creep, any creepier, they throw in that gargling demonic effect in his voice, and it's just, oh, it's so unsettling. But basically, in this... Uh, ben accidentally uh, Ben accidentally triggers the self destruct sequence, and he has four days to find the cre to find the creator of the Omnitrix alongside uh, Tetrax, who we haven't seen since season one. Uh, so it's nice to see that guy again. Um, uh, but along with Tetrax and Gwen, Max doesn't come along because he because they can't afford an alien on another planet recognizing him. Um because it would just cause prop because it would just cause problems. But um Ben and Gwen both go along with tech track both go along with tech tracks and they go to try to find the creator of the Omnitrix, uh who is the only person who could shut down the self-destruct sequence and uh, if the self-destruct sequence it, uh, follows through and does self-destruct, it would destroy half of the universe. It would destroy half of the universe. Uh, it is the most powerful destructive weapon uh, in the universe. It's the ultimate device in the universe, and it would destroy half of the universe, uh, which would cause the other half of the universe to essentially collapse in on itself and essentially create another Big Bang, uh, which would create an entirely new universe. But everyone else would be dead. Who knows if any planets would uh, exist that house life in this new universe. But, uh, but yeah, so, like, it's just, it is... It's really, it's really cool, and I love uh, the different aliens that he transforms into. He transforms into um, a ton of different aliens in this, but every time he transforms, the accelerate, uh, the countdown accelerates a little bit. But he o so he only uses it when he gets, uh, when he really has no other cho when he doesn't really have much of a choice, uh, and. Uh, so like he is he is being careful. He is being smart about this and we actually get to see Ben himself actually going in and fighting. Um and like the whole climax of the film is this war. It's a war zone. I'm not even kidding. It's this gigantic war. Vilgax is going all out. He has an army of droids coming ar around and even those giant freaking drones that uh ben beat one of them in the first episode uh he has like a ton of giant ones like eight giant ones and he has like uh, a whole army of all these other drones and he has six six working uh working alongside working under him now uh also from season one uh and he also showed up in season two um but but yeah, so like we get to see, uh, we get to see all this stuff. Uh, we get to see all we get to see all this stuff, and we get, uh, and the war is just, oh, it's so cool, ah, uh, 
Oh my god, it's, it's just the most awesome thing uh, in the show. It is the most awesome thing in the show, and I have yet to see anything from any of the other shows surpass that fucking climax. That was so awesome. Oh, such awesome sauce. Uh, just to see Ben with an arm cannon, a freaking Mega Man arm cannon, essentially. That's what it is. He's just going around with that Mega Man arm cannon, shooting all the, shooting all these... Uh, shooting all these bad, shooting all these bad guys, and it's just, it's him. It's not one of his aliens, it is him. He is going in, and he is fighting in a freaking war, and it's so awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I just, I never get tired of watching this movie. It is amazing. It was amazing then, it's amazing now. My only problem with it is that... Uh, my only problem with it is that um, for the first, for like the first half of the film, the lip syncing is a little off. Now, the lip syncing was never that great in the show to begin with, but uh, in seasons two and three, four, they started doing a much better job with actually uh, lip syncing. Uh, these characters. They started doing a lot better job with that. Um, and they did an okay job with it in the first half of the movie, but it was like season one okay. Uh, and this is supposed to be like your big project. This is supposed to be the big project for the series, uh, this film, and the first half of the film doesn't have... Terrible lip syncing, but it doesn't have great lip syncing like how the later seasons uh, had. Um, but that's really the only thing I can complain about. The lip syncing is just slightly off, and that's just a nitpick, honestly. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, but I just I love the movie. I love it. Um, we get some of the best di we get some of the best dialogue in the f series. From this film. And, um... Uh, we even... Uh, and then when they do meet the creator, he's a gray matter. He's a gray... He's a gray matter, and, like, that makes sense, because... Uh, when Ben goes gray matter, he becomes incredibly smart. So it makes sense that the creator would be one as well. But, uh... But... When you think of, like, someone who was able to get DNA samples of all this, you don't immediately think Grey Matter would be able to do all of that. You think it would have to be someone, like, actually strong who could actually take on these guys just to get a DNA sample in case, you know, any of them didn't want to cooperate. But, no, it's a Grey Matter who was able to do it, and I think that's so cool. Uh, and, uh... You also meet, uh, the creator's assistant, uh, Myax... Uh, and the creator's name is Azmuth, and uh, there's a uh, there's a good piece of com there's a good piece of comedy uh, there towards the end um, uh, when uh, after the fighting after the fighting's done uh, Azmuth is like improvising a ride, and him and uh, him and Mike's are about to leave, and uh, Ben's just like, "Wait, you need to teach me how to work this thing," and Azmuth just says. Don't you want to figure out, uh, figure that out on your own, like a true hero? And Ben's just like, not really. <laughs> uh, and Asmith is just like, I like that boy. <laughs> and he just leaves without even helping Ben, without helping Ben to learn how to control it. <laughs> like I don't know, I find that funny. I find that funny. It, it's it's weird, but I, the, it might be a weird thing to find funny, but I do find that humorous. Um. I love I love this movie. I absolutely love it. Um, I will still uh, like honestly. I don't really need to rewatch any of the episodes from the series, with the exception of the season two finale. Because love that episode, perfect episode right there. That is a perfect episode uh, for the for the franchise. Um, but aside from that, the only other thing I really feel the need to actually go back and watch regularly is this film. I love it so much. It is just so amazing. 
and Ben's new alien that he get the uh, Ben's new alien that he gets way big, like Ben's best alien ever, his best alien ever. Like I know Alien Force had alien had Alien X, who, who is supposed to be Ben's strongest alien, but way big, way big man. Like that that guy is just so fucking beast. That guy is just absolutely amazing. I love way big i love way big way big is just so awesome he is such awesome sauce um and uh yeah so uh let's see that's covered the alien covered the alien story villain and anim villains animation characters uh that's actually about it um <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, oh, one last thing, though, uh, in this film, uh, I actually have this film, uh, two different types of this film. There's the DVD and another f copy of this film comes in the season four, in the season four, the second disc, the first disc has all 10 episodes. The second disc has the film, but this second disc comes with the special versions. Uh, the blue, the blue edition, gold edition, and trivia edition. Um, the blue edition, and the different editions have been as different aliens. Uh, in the regular, in the regular movie, he's Heat Blast. Uh, in the... Uh, blue edition, he's Accelerate. In the trivia edition, it's essentially Heat Blast, but it has a bunch of, like, trivia boxes pop up at random times in the film to kind of, like, give you more context about uh, the making of the film and the actors and all that stuff. You know, you know the drill. And then there's Gold edition, which uh, is actually the first introduction of I Guy, um, another one of the Ben's a another one of Ben's aliens. It's the first actual introduction uh, in chronological order. But if you're watching this, uh, but if you're watching the series, uh, the ten episodes of season four all the way through before going on to the films, then you would see um, you would see I Guy in the final episode of season four. You would see it in Ben Ten versus the Negative Ten Part Two. Uh, that would be your first introduction to Eye Guy, uh, and then you'd see him again in uh, the film. So it just depends on how you want to watch it. Uh, do you want to watch? Do you want to watch all the? Uh, do you want to watch all the episodes and then move on to the three films, or do you want to watch all of it in chronological order? So, but yeah, that, those are the different. Uh, those are the different versions of the film. Uh, this does not have the extra versions sadly that's such a missed opportunity um this only has the uh regular version with heat blast so uh if that's what you look if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for the heat blast version uh then go ahead and pick this uh pick this up um i like i prefer the gold edition uh, to this because I love I guy. I think I guy is such a cool alien. Um, but yeah, this film, absolutely love it. It's fa absolutely fantastic. Um, but that's all I got for this one. Thank you guys so much for what, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care everyone.